So the app I chose is called Daily Art and as a future art teacher, I am actually obsessed with this app. The possibilities of activities that I can do in the classroom with this app are almost endless. This app is free or you can pay for the pro features. Um, it offers so many options inside the app that make it available for you to save art for later, share, archive, etc. Um, this, what this app does is it offers a daily piece of art that includes um, a lot of details which we'll look at later, um, but I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what this app is actually is. The only downside with this app is that I can't view it on my laptop, but I can view it from my phone, my Apple Watch, and my iPad. So it would be um, accessible to put it on a projector in the, in the classroom or send it out um, to, the, to the kids, to the students, to their parents. Um, but if they have the tech available like an iPad or a laptop, then they would just be able to access that um, on their own. But the only downside for me is that I can't have the app on my laptop. So for me, I'd be interested in using this app as bell work for the kids, exit tickets, research projects, art history, daily discussion, or just fillers if we end up having some time um, to do a little bit of research. So let's get started and I'll walk through the app. This is what will pop up right whenever you press on the app. And then it will go to this screen where it gives you um, the artwork, today's day, the title, who it's by, the date it was made in, um, and then a brief history of what the artwork is about. Um, it also gives you the medium, the genre, which you can click on right here. So this was in the Baroque period. So now it gives you um, a little bit of the history about this. So I like that aspect as well. And it also tells you where it is um, in real life. So if they were ever in the UK, then they could actually go and see this piece that they're seeing right now um, in real life. So you can click on the piece of work, which I like also, and they can zoom in, zoom around, try to get a better view of what's going on. This would be nice for them to be able to do if they had the tech, like an iPad, they could see that pretty close. Then we go to yesterday and it's the same thing. So that's also a nice touch that you can go and see the day before um, and it just keeps going, it just keeps going. The only problem was with this is if it has, so if the kids have access um, to tech, like an iPad or a laptop, and there is art that may not be appropriate for that age group, the only problem is that if they have the tech, then they can scroll through the past dates if they get nosy or curious or bored, and they may see something. So that's something to think about. Um, throughout the few weeks that I've been using this app, I've only seen a couple um, of pieces from the Renaissance and Baroque period that um, could be inappropriate for um, middle school and below. So that's some things to think about as well. So this is the side view and you can see today's work. You can click on archive where you can look at artwork that is been for the week or just the past. You can click on artist, which is really awesome um, for research or just um, doing more digging on a topic. It gives museums and it would list your favorites if you were signed in and a user. So you can add favorites, which I like. That's a nice touch. You can also share um, with friends your favorite pieces or the work of the day and um, so then you could send that to the parents or um, have them share with a friend for the day. So that's a little bit of the logistics of the app um, and 
like I said earlier, I can see myself using this as bell work where they would have to um, reflect on the piece of the day and um, write in their art journal or I could see this as an exit ticket where they would not be able to leave the classroom until they turned in um, a piece of paper where they have reflected on the piece and in this reflection I would be looking for their completion of the um, the project one but also Bloom's taxonomy comes into this. I would be able to test their knowledge, comprehension, analysis, and overall the evaluation or creation. So they would need to be able to recall um, information that we had already learned in class. So this would be art history, principles or elements of the arts, design, and then I would also see their comprehension of this knowledge um, based on their translating of the piece to their work of art that they could be creating or um, just making the connections in the piece that they're looking at for the day. Um, research projects could take this to a deeper level of analysis where they would be able to organize their own ideas as well as um, using old concepts and designing and composing maybe a new image from the artwork, um, as well as just comparing ideas, evaluating the outcomes of their work and just comparing them back to this piece that they looked at in class or um, an artist that they discovered through this app. So that's how I see Bloom's Taxonomy being used um, in this type of learning with this type of app. The next thing that I would like to talk about is um, differentiation um, and personal learning. So I like this app because it can be used at many different levels with different types of learners. I like that it provides different avenues um, in terms of acquiring the content, processing, constructing, or making sense of this type of ideas. Because I know not everybody enjoys art, not everybody's an artist. Heck, a lot of artists don't even like art history, but it is valuable to um, learning the process and the ideas and how um, art kind of imitates life and life imitates art. So it is necessary in the classroom and that's what I'd like to, um, you know, teach to them that it can be interesting and this app does offer differentiation for those types of um, learning and um, those opportunities. So I think that this app does offer those opportunities. The way that it can offer these opportunities is it allows each individual learner to be challenged at their own strengths and support their weaknesses. So I can see this being used kind of like a badge list because it gives them the opportunity to save or archive the work that they see, share it, and mark as seen. So I can go back and reward them for using this app to further their learning. So now we're to personal learning, and personal learning is all about using the learner's interests and passions to further their learning. So I think that although not everybody is interested in art, I do feel like they may be able to find an artist that does work about something that they enjoy. So this app offers an opportunity for them to find that and use that to their advantage in a project or an assignment. I discussed using this app in a research project type of assignment. Now, I can see myself using this to have them pick their own artist, their own type of work to research, find out more history about the artist, more information about the type of style that they use to create in and do a writing portion, but also I can see them 
using this app to find a way to recreate that artist's artwork in their own style to and that just gives them the opportunity to use that their personal interests and personal passions to develop this new piece. So they would be able to just find out more information to help spark that um, that evaluation and creating of their own piece. So this would just give them the opportunity to add, remix, create, and um, just really add their personal so overall, I really enjoy this app. I think that it has just enough freedom and just enough structure to really be useful. I think that I could use this in an art history format. Um, I can use it to retest Bloom's taxonomy and the evaluation and analysis of what we've already learned in class, like the principles or elements of art. I think that with the right guidelines and um, right assignment that it can really be useful. So thanks for sticking around and listening to my review of this app, Daily Art, where it gives you your daily dose of art to further research and enjoy. So thanks again.